Uh, my name is Jason Reynolds. Y'all know me as the Filthy Gringo. This is my pig. It's a 54 rag top. I was kind of born into it. Pops had a drag car back in the 80s. I was born in 84. By then, he was already building a pro stock car. Basically, it was forced down my throat. Hated these cars until I was about 16. Picked up a 61 rag top, 1835 center lines. I got about three quarters of the way done with it. Never drove it. And then I found this and sold it. The rest is history. I bought it and it was a body and doors and a pan. And other than that, I've changed everything. It's got a vintage V-dub, six inch beam in the front, cage upper arms, the extended upper arms, 944 Willwoods from Bruce, chrome aftermarket gas burner, three eighths fuel system all the way back, Super Beetle first and second. It's got a welded super diff, sway away axles. It's basically your pro street trans. 2276, stage three heads. Everything's powder coated candy red, 10 to one compression, IDAs. It's a fun little ride. I think it's the little things that you remember about, about the cars. It's the little things that catch your eyes. I like the, the old school hot rod pinstriping. I like changing things that, that uh, you don't really notice. You know what I mean? Unless you really, really know the car, then you kind of look at it, okay, this is gone or this doesn't belong there. Or... That's the type of stuff I'm into. My wife does all my detail work on the headlights and, and the license plate frames and stuff. Me and my pops, I would say since I was 16, we've probably built 10, 12. A few buses, a couple oval windows, a couple rag tops, the 67 out there in the, in the driveway. So yeah, we've been, we've been busy. The car itself, that's why we do it. You know what I mean? That, that's what attracted us to it is the ugly ass fucking car. And we think that we're going to make something out of it. And all of a sudden we're addicted to them. And it was always supposed to be on to the next. And this one I've had for almost 20 years. So I don't think there is an on to the next with this one. because a two inch is kind of pointless. With the Willwoods, you need a little more than four because they do push the wheels out a little bit. So it started out with a four inch, then a five inch, then a six inch. This is probably the fifth set of brakes on it. Probably the fourth or fifth beam that's been under it. It's been a constant, you know, battle over the years. You know, Bruce has been a big help with this. Selling his parts and stuff and helping him out allowed me to actually take this thing from green and to what it is now. I had a wheel that had been on 100 cars, so the, the paint started to chip off a little bit, and I decided instead of you know paying somebody to do it again, I was just gonna give it a crack, and I did it on my first shot, and this person found out, and that person found out, and before I knew it, I was the fucking wheel guy. So my wife details all the caps, and she's pretty lethal with a fucking paintbrush. She's been doing it for about four years now. I started doing the wheels, and she told me that she can do the caps, and it ended up being perfect. I was actually watching a, a TV show. I don't even remember what it was called, but they take these old cars and they build them up and they take them to auction. And this guy found an old 55 Chevy and he built a gasser out of it. And he painted it green. It looked just, you know, kind of the same color scheme I had on this at the time. And they called it the Filthy Gringo. And I fucking fell out of my seat laughing. And I changed my online handle to the Filthy Gringo and it just took off. And now everywhere I go, I hear people fucking screaming, Filthy! When I was younger, I would get bored and I was grounded a lot, so I took magazines apart and I basically pinned them on my wall. There was always this picture of a white 55 ragtop, it had egg tail lights, threefold, had an IDA motor, and it had gold five spokes on it. And I told my pops when I was younger, I, that's what I want. I'm gonna build this, I'm gonna sell it, and I want that. And uh, the car actually came up and I painted it green and I rocked it for a while and then everybody started painting their shit. Vic was building his split at the time, Vince was building his oval at the time. He, his, he took his apart to uh, paint his car up and I said, you know, I'm not one to be outdone, so this is what happens when you give a stoner the idea. So I took it apart and I painted it and I, I debated for probably, I don't know, two months. I couldn't figure out a color. And uh, me and Vic were talking one day and he mentioned pearl white. And I was like, you know what? That's, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Thanks, Vic. I've had the car about 20 years and I've built the car twice. And I'd like to say I'm done with it, but you know, you're always building and changing. So 20 years. <laughs> I have real gas burners in my shed right now that I just had polished. So when I get some free time, I'm gonna paint those and they're, they're gonna go back on here. It's a 2276. It's got real Italian 48 IDAs. It's got stage three heads from Brothers. 10 to one compression, FK87 cam, uh, scat lifters. I believe they're Manton push rods. My buddy down the street, he's a tattoo artist and we were kind of sitting here bullshitting one day and I threw a couple ideas at him and he was drunk and he gave me some shitty sketch. I told him I'd think about it and then about three days later he sends me another one and that's what I came up with. 
I have everything split window from, you know, the, so the hood handle, the deck lid handle, all the side trim, the emblem. Eventually I'll work my way up to the bumpers. They look better. <laughs> they ride like shit, but they look a lot better. I've got a 59 Euro in the back. The, the pan's already powder coated silver vein. I'm waiting on a couple powder coating pieces to come back and then we'll start working on the body. I'm gonna graft a rag top into it. I got some alloys for it. I've got, a, I got an 1835 for it. And so yeah, it'll be a, a fun little project. I would say my favorite wheel is probably the worst one to detail, and I would say that's gas burners. If you've got a real set of gas burners, there's, there's not a, a nicer looking wheel, I think. A nice polished set, and, and yeah, they're just they're a nightmare to detail. Yeah, those were made by Blue. He, he passed away probably about a year after he made them for me. I bought the windows off of Ricardo, uh, Safari windshields. He did those custom windows for me. Buy one that runs. Buy one that runs and you'll save yourself a lot of money and a lot of hassle. I bought this one and it was a basket case and it was literally probably about seven, eight years before I had it on the road. And that was with having a whole bunch of extra parts. When I was born, there was two, bulk, two dead Volkswagens in my backyard and it's been that way the rest of my fucking life. If you look at my backyard, there's two dead Volkswagens back there. I grew up in Jack Sacchetti's shop, Ron Loomis's shop, Jimmy and Candy Larson's shop, before Volkswagens were actually fast, you know what I mean? Fucking Lee Layton was a close family friend and you know, uh, Dean Lowry and all these guys. These were guys that I seen growing up on a regular basis, you know what I mean? I think that was kind of why the, the hot rod lowered car was such a big part of my life because growing up, that's what everybody had. I didn't know anybody that had a 34 pit car. Everybody I knew had IDAs in their shit. Watch out for the stinger when you walk behind it, you know? Now you got these A1 exhausts that tuck up under. Like, that shit wasn't around when I was a kid. Pops out a Pro Scott car running nines in, you know, 92, 93. You don't go backwards from that. If I'd have showed up with a stock 56 oval, he'd have laughed at me. Fastest one I've been in was probably this one. And I would say this is probably high 13s. You know, if I throw some compression, it'll make it faster, but it's not a race car. Hell, right now it's a garage clean. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks to Bruce, thanks to my pops, thanks to my wife, thanks to my kids for putting up with it and actually liking the car. Everybody who's helped me out along the way, Jeremy, everybody, I appreciate it. Couldn't have done it without him.